Welcome to Getting Artsy with Cindy. And today, I hope you guys had a great week. Today, we are going to show you guys something new. One of our newest dies that we have in, and it's on our website just as of today. It's the Hot Air Balloon um, Slimline Background Die. So my standard is I take eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. So I've got the eight and a half, and then I cut it to seven and a half. Then I only have to make one cut, fold it in half, and then your card base is three and three fourths by eight and a half. So fits great in just those number 10 envelopes. That's the size that I use for mine. This die is just one piece and um, so really easy, cuts really clean, you're gonna love it. So, because I, there's so many things I wanna show you. One of the cards I already did is this one, I'm too close, there we go. So I just used yellow cardstock in the back. We cut the die out of white and then um, I paper pieced into it. We're going to use these little fun pieces over here and do one um, paper piece one together. Um, so this, if we have time at the end, maybe I'll we'll take out my watercolor paper and we can make another one of these together. But um, I used the uh, Distress inks and I just um, put them on my splat mat and spritzed some water in it and picked up some colors and I think this is and I kind of had this sitting next to it so I kind of had an idea of where I wanted some of the colors to be but so let's go ahead and put this card together and we'll be done with this one so I just I love the extra bright colors um, on the background of this one all right And for this piece, I just cut my paper so that I kind of wanted um, just a teeny bit of that edge to show. So I cut it just a little bit bigger than the die, the blue die. So I think this one's really fun. Okay, all right. How many of you have ever been on a in a hot air balloon? I have, that's on my bucket list. I just haven't done it yet. So there's this one. I think that's really pretty with all those colors in the background. That's one. And then again, we have this one and this one. I think what I'll do is paper piece into the plain one because this paper pieced one has the stars in the background. So let's just paper piece into this one and we'll set that one aside. All right, so what I did is I took some random, random pieces of pattern paper and I used the, um, the double-sided tape and put it on the back and then ran it through my machine. So I'm gonna do that. I've done it in a couple different places. So I took, so what I did is, here's a couple more pieces. And I'm going to put them, when I run it through the machine, I don't need to do the whole thing. I'm just gonna run it through this little section here. I Usually when I die cut something, I run it through a couple times to really cut out all the pieces, but when I do this and I'm gonna paper piece, I kind of wanna be really light, don't necessarily want to go all the way through because I don't really wanna cut through the tape because what I do now, um, I'm gonna start pushing, poking these out, but don't poke um, the whole thing through, like just lightly poke it th because then if you can peel up the whole thing, I'm gonna flip it over, make sure everything's coming out. Now all of my pieces are still in there and then I can set them aside. It'll be easier to put um, paper piece into it knowing where those cuts are. If I just 
poke the whole thing out, there's no way you'd be able to figure out what goes where. So again, I'm just getting the base, getting it out of here, peeling it up. Now you can see when I start to peel it up, one of the little pieces is missing. So I'm just going to hold it back in place and poke that through. Okay. So here it is. I'm just going to slide it over so I keep track of where it is. There's that extra little piece. Okay. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and start piecing some of this together. Okay. Um, all right, so now this thing, it literally, you can use this piece this is just going to come right out and I can just start piecing this in using my pokey tool if I have to. Again, the really small prints, I think, work the best for this. Okay, I think that turned out great. Again, I think I need to go back in and add another color here. Uh, I think the yellow would be great, or even pull in a whole nother color. So then, another thing I want to show you, and we can do it to this one, is I took one of the dies and I cut out, um, I just cut away the outside part so I have these freestanding balloons. So you could easily have them floating on a card. But I think another another fun thing to do is because I like to decorate the insides of cards, we can, so say we have one here, I'm gonna have this one up here floating off of the page. So I'm gonna glue this down, I kind of, made that part, made it kind of obvious where that was going to go. All right, so there's the inside and we can decorate that because look at all these pieces we have left. That this could be a graduation card and he didn't see this because right over here I had this set. This is the congrats grad set and um, oh the places you'll go, you did it. Um, shoot uh, for the moon, even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. So that is exactly why I pulled. So I think that on the inside with a little sentiment right there is great. You could, I threw them in the trash, but because um, I had stuff everywhere. But, you know, even the little swirls, um, if you're going to cut this apart, use the swirls in different places too. You could have the swirls, you know, coming in from behind the the hot air balloon which would be cool too so the other actually i'm going to show you another something else all right so let's glue this one down for time's sake here this one the the stars underneath i cut that just slightly under the size of the main frame so that you, i have a, a wider white rule. So again, here's one where you're going to give it um, two layers or you're going to show it with an extra layer. This one's just the white border. But what you can do is take this one that we cut and glue it right on top. And then that makes that pop out a little bit more. 
And then you could paper eat paper piece just this one. I mean, so that's another another way you can do it. Um, I think I would paper piece into that because it's really dark. Uh, I think it needs light into that. But I, th I think let's go ahead and glue this on top of here and then I'll paper piece it later and show you guys the end result. So there you go. And don't forget the inside. And again, have fun. You definitely can have fun with making just a really fun texture in the back. And I can show you guys that real quick. Uh, if you guys have not done that before. I'm going to get this mat. And then we're going to take a couple bright colors. And so we've got red. This is festive berries. And we've got this is a one of these is the distressed oxide and one's just the regular, but um, I think that's okay. We're gonna use all of these. And then I'm just gonna spritz. And I'm going to just take, you can use regular cardstock, but this is watercolor paper. And I'm going to spray that. And I'm going to dry it with a heat gun a little bit. I like the extra little splotches and dots. You could smush it around so it's very mixed, but... Yeah. All right, I think this is about ready. And then you can also just take your paper towel and blot it like that, which is really cool. I, I think it's a really kind of a neat look, fun to do a lot of different ways. Where's my original? And then we have this one. Again, this is using the stars in the background and the paper piecing, but you see how the flower on this one, we wanna go ahead and put some separate colors in here for this one. So we'll finish that up for you guys. Thanks again for joining us. And if you guys have any questions, um, I think we're all good. So you guys have a great week and I dare you to be artsy. See you next Monday.